Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms I do pop culture videos every single day So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me grab a snack and a drink Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful You guys we have to talk because does Selena Gomez have a new boyfriend now listen I wanted to make this video because I think it's so funny that Selena Gomez or, or any, honestly, any celebrity, they can't be spotted with anyone else without it being like, oh, they're getting married, bitch, or oh, they're in a relationship, girl, oh, she's pregnant with this person's baby. Like, it, I mean, people will take it. But listen, um, I don't, you guys probably saw this, but of course, Selena Gomez, and um, she was spotted with somebody who they arrived together to the Beyonce concert in Paris. His name is Edgar, Edgar Ramirez. He is a Venezuelan actor. Um, first of all, let me tell you something. The man is sexy. I mean, he is sexy, okay? And he is a little bit older than Selena. He's 46, Selena is 30, so that's 16 years of a difference. Um, so there's two kind of things going around. One, that he and Selena are filming the new musical uh, crime comedy movie in Paris with Zoe. It was set to film first in Mexico, but then it, it filmed in Paris. Um, so it's, it, it's being rumored that they are just co-stars, but other people are saying that they're getting to know each other. Um, listen, first of all, he is so damn sexy. And you know what? I feel like... I don't know. I don't see age. I, I like. I don't. I don't care. Like numbers to me are like whatever. Like I feel like if you vibe. I mean, of course you have to be in an appropriate age. You can't be like seventeen with a fucking sixty-five year old. You know what I mean? But like thirty and forty-six. I don't see a big like. I don't think it's that bad. You know, Selena Gomez is a very mature for her age. You know what I mean? She's she's very, very mature for her age. I feel like she's lived 5,000 lives. And that's the truth, girl. I mean, she has lived 5,000 lives. You know, she's she's done it all, you know? And she's been through so much that I think that that is what has helped her also grow. Um, so I feel like her dating an older, you know, gentleman, I think it's kind of right up her alley because I feel like she's done with the fuck boy. She's done with the games. She's done with the toxic nicks. She's done with all of these things. And I think that she is on the right path to, to find something special. And I'm actually very excited for her. Um, I think that it's, I mean, obviously I'm not saying that they're, they're dating, but the, 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 the concept of her dating a sexy older guy, Latino, you know, who has been in quite a lot of movies. I mean, look, I'll read you some of his movies. He's been in Florida Man, in Point Break, in Yes Day, in Hands of Stone, in Deliver Us from Evil, Wasp Network, Jungle Cruise. I mean, he's he's done his rounds, Born Ultimatum 365, I mean, he's worked, you know what I mean? And he's he's mostly famous for movies like The Bright Wasp Network, The Last Days of American Crime. I don't know, I, I haven't seen any of these movies, except, no, I haven't seen any of these movies, except uh, uh, I've seen Jungle Cruise, but I don't remember him in it. But anyways, <laughs> whatever. I think it's fabulous. I think it's so good because you know what? Dating another, a younger guy, who hasn't gone through so much in life, I think it's not for Selena. Just because I feel like that's their mature, but at the same time, I feel like her life has been so serious that maybe she does need like just to have fun with like a boy toy. You know what I mean? But anyways, obviously it's not official that they're dating. Her and Zayn have, I mean, that rumor kind of went away. Zayn was just spotted somewhere. I don't remember exactly where it was, but he's also traveling, but he's nowhere near Europe. Um, so that kind of died down before it, you know, it exploded too much. But I think that we're gonna start seeing Selena maybe out and dating. I think she's focusing so much on work. She's focusing so much on her career that I think, I think a little boy time would be really good for her to, you know, there's just something about when you first start dating somebody, you feel like, kind of that excitement and that chemistry. And I think Selena probably, hopefully, has learned not to fall so hard so fast um, so she doesn't get her heart broken. And hopefully she can, like, 
just kind of date around, you know, they're, they're, it's important to date around, I have to say, you know, I've been married, you know, almost all my adult life. So I, 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 I didn't really date that much. I mean, I had a couple boyfriends here and there, but like dating wise, I didn't date that much. So I, I feel like it's very important because when you date, when you date around, you go on multiple dates, you, you, you kind of, you know, flirt with a couple guys here and there. I think you learn a lot about yourself. You know what I mean? And you learn a lot about yourself. You learn what you like, you learn what you don't like, you learn what you, what, what you put up with. You learn also about how you act in certain situations. Like I remember when I, when I first started dating, you know, at 17, 18, I just remember that, you know, I got married very early. Um, but I remember that like, I would not be able to be ever myself. And when I, when I finally met somebody that I could be myself, I was like, okay, maybe this is kind of special. So I think, I think it is important. And I especially think that because life is already so serious and, and you know, she's gone through so much, you guys, I just think like going out, having some drinks, getting some good pee pee and just dancing and just like, you know, flirting and ooh, you know what I mean? I think it's fabulous. And plus he is sexy. But anyways, who do you think Selena Gomez should date? Let me know in the comments. Like which, which who is your like ultimate actor singer that you would just think Selena Gomez would really hit it off with? Um, I don't know this man too much. Oh, I just got a message. I just, I, I don't know this man too much, but I think somebody who will be good for her is, I think, an older guy who is in the business. I mean, I mean, obviously, in my like dream world for Selena, he wouldn't be in the business. But I mean, how else are they going to meet? So probably he's going to be in the business. But somebody who is established, who has their career, who who is focused on, you know, on, on just kind of like meeting someone real and having something real, you know, someone who is not gonna play games. And that's why I think someone a little older, because I think all these like young people, I think they're gonna see Selena Gomez like, oh, you know, here's an opportunity for me. But I think someone older who doesn't really care about social media, who doesn't really care about a lot of those things, I think it would be pretty good for her. So anyways, um, I can't think of anyone right now so let's just say this guy. Hopefully they're they're having some fun or they're just co-stars, who knows, bitch. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. Today is, Pri or this weekend is Pride Month. I am going to the parade on Sunday. So if you are going to the West Hollywood Parade, let me know. I'd love to say hi and maybe take a shot or two, bitch. I don't know. Oh girl, I got a little I got a little accidentally tipsy last night. I went over to a friend's house to watch uh Vanderpump Rules reunion. And girl, when I tell you I had like I had a margarita and a shot. That's all I had. And girl, when I talk I got home and I was like, oof, oof. Like if the party would have continued, girl, I would have continued. I would have been I would have been like, yes. I would have continued, bitch, but no, I, I went home and I, I passed out at like 11.30. Uh, but like a, a, a freaking cocktail and a shot got me tipsy? Well, you know what? I didn't eat that much yesterday, so that's probably the reason. Anyways, I love you all so much. I'm so grateful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.